Hey guys, this video is going to be about setting tool and work offsets on a, on a Haas CNC mill if you don't have a probe. This is my preferred method and I think it's the best because you don't have to do any math, you don't have to type in any numbers, and you don't have to remember any numbers. You will need a few tools to utilize the strategy. First, you will need something like a Hymer. It's a 3D sensor that measures in all three axes and does not require you to do any math. Next, you will need a tool presetter. This one is made by Edge Precision and when it when the gauge reads zero, the tip of the tool that you're measuring is that, is that exactly four inches from the bottom of, of this tool setter. Last, you will need some gauge blocks or one, two, three blocks, whatever you want to use um, that matches the zero height of your tool setter. On your, on your control, you have to do some one-time setup things. You'll go to settings, find setting 64, turn this on, the default is off. Install your Hymer in the spindle. Find the offset, the tool length offset for the Hymer. Set that, set that to zero. Next, go to MDI, and you'll pick a work offset that you will not work use for anything else. This this offset will be for measuring tool lengths only. For me, this is G59. So switch over to G59, just like to start, and verify that you're in G59. Next, go to your work offsets. Go to G59 Z-axis. Put your gauge blocks on the machine table. Bring your Hymer down until it zeroes out. At this position, you will hit part zero set. If you break your tip on your Hymer or you replace your Hymer, you'll have to repeat this, this step. Now, anytime you want to set a tool length offset, get your tool presetter, put this on the machine table. Mine has a little reminder on it that tells me to make sure I'm in G59. So if you're not, switch to G59 and verify you're in G59. If you are not, you're going to have a bad time. Go to your tool offsets. For each tool, you bring it down until this zeroes out. You will then hit tool offset measure. Double check you're in G59. Once you've done this for all your tools, all your tool length offsets are set. Now suppose you're, you've got G54 and G55 for a new setup you'll go to your work offsets. For G54, X, Y, and Z, each one you will put your hammer in the spindle. Uh, zero out X, and when G G54X is highlighted, hit part zero set. Do the same for Y. You will zero out the Y, um, your hammer in, in, in Y. Make sure G54Y is highlighted, part zero set, and also for Z, bring your probe down until it zeroes out and hit part zero set. Scroll down to G55 and, and continue X, Y, and Z and continue down the columns as, as necessary. To recap, suppose you break a tool, put this on the table, read your reminder, go to MDI, G59, go to tool offsets. Whatever tool, your tool you're trying to measure, bring it down until this reaches zero and hit tool offset measure. If you want to set G57, put your hammer in, in the spindle. It doesn't matter what coordinate system you're in when you're measuring work offsets. Set your zero, set the zero out your, your hammer, and to, to set this correctly, you, you hit part zero set on X, Y, and Z. So this is how I do it. If you have a different method or if you have comments on this method, uh, leave a comment below. Um, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.